Hello ladies and gents, welcome to another video. I sold a Xbox One S on eBay this afternoon and the buyer came and collected but before he did he got in touch and said since you fixed consoles would you be interested in buying my broken one. The console has apparently suffered liquid damage and before I even get into this I am going to be putting gloves on because I already know what's inside. Milk. I don't even like milk in coffee. It's disgusting. And it's even worse when it's inside a console. So, with that being said, this is the console. I sold the Xbox One S for £80 on eBay. It was a 1TB One S and standard One S, a white console, same as this one that I've got here. And I gave a £30 refund on the part exchange. So I basically paid £30 for this. So hopefully we're going to get it fixed and make a little bit more money. So with that being said, if you are new to the channel and you like this type of content, then I would really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and turn on the bell notifications and that way you don't miss any future videos. And if you want to support me on these little endeavours, then you can do so by heading over to Twitch. You can become a Twitch Prime subscriber by linking your Amazon Prime account to Twitch and take some money off Jeff Bezos. It really does help me out a lot. You can also become a Patreon sponsor using the link in the video description, or you can become a channel member using the join button below this video. So with that being said, let's get into this repair. Right we are, so this is the console. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna be putting gloves on for this one before I even open it, because I don't like milk, and I don't like it even more when it's on a console. Now, there's actually nothing wrong with milk, to be honest, but I just don't like it. I don't like the taste, and I don't like the smell. It's disgusting, but it is what it is, and we do what we've got to do to try and make money. So, yeah, let's just see what's happening with this then. So, he said it doesn't turn on. Okay. Okay. It definitely doesn't turn on. All right, that's fine. Oh, hang on. Forgot my isolation switch. Ugh. Okay. So now it is turning on. Hmm. So he asked me to get the disc out. He said there's a fee for disc in. Yep, and there is. FIFA 22. There we go. Let's just see if it displays. Well, I am still going to take it apart because I want to know what's happened inside. Okay, and it looks like we're in low resolution mode. Ah, the sync button doesn't work. Hmm. Sync button's stuck. Yeah, the sync button was stuck. And it doesn't work as well. All right, okay, cool. Sweet. Trying to get it to sync, but no, it's not having none of it. All right, well, let's get it open and let's see if we can figure out what's going on with, whoops. Let's see if we can figure out what's going on with this. So the beautiful thing about this is it's never been opened, which is obviously good news for me because that means that I've got more chance of actually repairing them. Now, I know this one turns on, but it does still technically need repairs. So yeah, the, the technically the seller, I can call him a seller, but the seller basically said that his son's game was stuck inside, can I get it out for him? I said, yeah, that's absolutely fine. Um, whoops, so, bit of a shame, because I could have ended up with a free 22, FIFA 22 disc if he didn't realize. To be fair, I don't actually play FIFA, don't like football. And I've already seen signs of milk on the edge. Oh wow, that's really... Uh... <laughs> oh no, this is going to be bad inside. <laughs> yeah.
glad I put gloves on now. Check that out. Can you see it? Bits of milk down the edges. Lovely. <laughs> oh dear, this is going to be fun. Uh, there's actually still some uh, milk in liquid form there. Don't judge me. Anyway, let's get on with this, shall we? Enough messing around. Making a right mess of my desk. Oh, it's stuck together. Oh, wow. It's actually not really that dusty. I'm assuming this is probably going to be a 2018 model. It's a 500 gig. So I wonder why the front panel's not working. Hmm, looks like we've got some corrosion around the front panel. Alright, well, we'll take a look at that in a little while. Might have to change the front panel. So, the, the milk damage might be around the front panel then. Don't think it's anything to do with this wireless card. Oh, it might be. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Well, that didn't want to come out, did it? So, yeah, how this is actually powering on, I'm not 100% sure. But, that being said, the capacitors around here, so we've got some milk damage here. We've also got a fair bit of milk damage all the way around. It's going to need a really good scrub. But, these capacitors being shorted together with milk isn't a bad thing. Because... I mean, yes, we've got to clean it up, but those being shorted isn't a bad thing. And the reason for that is because these capacitors are all connected together anyway. So they're all on the same trace, and it's the top of them which are shorted. They're not shorted from the top to the bottom, which would give it a short from the input side to ground. So that's probably why it's still turning on. Which is a good thing, I guess, because it shouldn't have done too much damage. So let's just move this out of the way. I'll give that a scrub. I might replace that actually. I'll see if it cleans up. So there's going to be a fair bit of clean up needed. But on first glance, the front of the board seems fine. Okay, well, I'm still going to give it a good scrub. These, actually, they've got quite lucky here because there's definitely some liquid hit the APU. And look at all of this which has fell out as well. So, yeah. I mean, overall though, the front of the board or the top of the board, the APU side, looks fine. I'm not seeing any signs of corrosion on this side of the board, but on this side of the board there is a few areas which need sorting. So I think just a clean up to be honest. The HDMI port looks mint. USB ports look okay. Uh, yeah, all of the ports look fine. So I think this is just going to be a case of clean up to be honest. So let's do that. So I've got some isopropyl alcohol and I think I'm just going to pour IPA on this side of the board and then with a hard bristle brush I'm just going to give it a scrub. I do need to try and clean this away from here. Ugh, it's all stuck on. There we go. I may as well break some of this thermal paste up at the same time. That's going to be changed. It is making quite the mess on my desk though. So I'm going to need to do a good clean up on the desk afterwards as well. But then again, if it ain't messy, then I'm kind of uncomfortable. Uh, 
All right, let's clean up this corrosion around these caps and things. Okay, I'm gonna clean inside the ports as well, just for the head of it. I don't think I'm gonna get it perfect. I think that white stuff you're gonna keep showing up. That's what she said. Right, let's move that out of the way for a minute. I need to sort this desk out because this is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, these are going to need a good wash afterwards. These mats. Mm. Not good, man. Not good. Not good at all. That will do for now. So, I'm going to start cleaning up components. So, I'll start with the fan. Okay, and then I'll just brush this off away from the desk. And there we go. So there's the fan. So I'll continue to do the other components. And there we go. Okay, so they were not too bad. I don't really have any concerns about the disk drive because the disk drive appeared to work. So the main concern really is that the sync button isn't working. So I believe that might be down to just a little bit of liquid damage on the sink button. So I'm going to give this a clean with isopropyl alcohol. You'll be amazed what isopropyl alcohol can fix. And one of those things are connection issues with corrosion. Not always, but some of the time. So I'll clean both sides. and also the connector as well there we go so I'll pop that in there and the same goes for the Wi-Fi card as well I'm gonna give it a scrub with IPA even though I can't see any corrosion and if that doesn't fix it then I'll replace panels if I have to so yeah, like I said, we're going to get a little bit of white staining, but that's, I mean, you can see it rubbing off with my finger. That's isopropyl alcohol more than anything. So I wouldn't worry about that. Okay, we are going to put some of the best damn thermal pasta that money can buy on this, and then it's going to work absolutely perfect. Ah, beautiful. Let's just replace this X clamp and I'll put that one in the dishwasher. There we go. Alright, so I'll test this outside the case then. And just see if the sink button wants to work now I've cleaned it. And if not, then I'll replace the panel. So let's just leave that like that for a minute. HDMI cable goes in better now. Fan seems to work. It turns on. So let's let that boot up and then I'll see if the sync button wants to work. Okay, that seems to be okay. Let's just let it boot. And sadly, it's still not working. I'm pressing the sync button and it's not working. So, let's see if it's the panel. Yep, it's the panel. 
All right, so why is it the panel then? Let's try and fix the panel. So the sync button then is here, this bind button. Ah, I can see some corrosion there. Yeah, so on the actual tactile switch itself, we've got some corrosion, so very minimal. But we do have some corrosion on that bind button. Well, I'm gonna deal with that by hanging this over the edge of the table. And literally all I'm gonna to do to this is give this button a reflow. So let's add a tiny amount of flux here. And then I've got my hot air set at 440 degrees Celsius. And that's at 40% airflow. And I'm just going to heat up from underneath. Should not take long at all. Oh, it stinks. It stinks of milk. It actually smells kind of sweet. Let that settle. I might need to take it off and replace the solder. So I should put alcohol on my toothbrush. I'll tell you something, they get hot quick. Just make sure we've got no corrosion around here. Ooh. Yeah, there's a little bit, isn't that? Fair a fair bit of corrosion actually around the front panel. So I'm gonna try reflowing a bunch of this stuff so I'll put a nozzle on my hot air well, I think all of that's had probably enough reflowing pretty much the entire circuit so let's just let it cool for a second and then I'll clean the flux off honestly I think there might be a little bit too much liquid damage on this to fix all of that with a reflow but I could use it if it works I could use it as a test board and put one in that's uh, fully working I don't mind doing that and use this as a test only it doesn't look that bad though but I still wouldn't be comfortable letting it go because there's a good chance it might fail in the future. Let's clean the front up. Okay, the button is clicking. All right, well, let's leave it at that for now. Let's just see if this works. Because I don't think I'm gonna be comfortable sending that board out here. I think it's got a little bit too much damage on it. And for the price of them, it's not worth me sitting there hunting around and trying to find dirt. Uh, a donor board and then swapping 20 components realistically so I think what I plan to do is just use it as a test board I think and put this working board on so I've got a working board here I think I should use that okay so the panel works I need to wait for it to boot up I don't know if that was me or whether it was because I was moving it but it is flashing. It's blinding me though. Okay, it's stopped flashing. Let's press the button. Yeah, there we go. Does it sync a controller though? It does. Boom. Awesome. All right, let's log into the dashboard. All right, let's give it a full test then. So I may as well use the game that was in there, FIFA 22. There we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, let's have a look at the settings. TV and display, it's not gonna work in 4K because I'm on a capture card. Let's test Wi-Fi, picks it up. There we go. Might ask me to update, but I'm not going to. Not yet anyway. Let's test Ethernet, make sure the network is fully working. Show me that wired. 
There we go. All right, so everything seems to be working absolutely fine so far. Let's just test a USB port. So I'm just going to plug in a random USB. And one issue. There we go, USB is working. One issue. It's trying to sync itself now. So that front panel needs changing. It's not worth fixing, to be honest. But that keeps on trying to sync itself. So, yeah, that's fine. But USB is working. And, uh, yeah, it all seems to be working. Let's just make sure the back ports work. There we go. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. So, this panel... I'm just going to keep this as a test panel. And I'm going to replace it. So I'll use this spare one that I've got, and rather than wasting this, I'll just use it as a test panel. And I'll use it when I'm testing consoles. It's fine. It's not a major issue. The cost about £7 each off, off eBay, so yeah, let's call it good with £7, shall we? Everything else, perfect. So I'm going to get it back together. So I'm just going to clean out the dust here, and then I'm going, to, I'm going to try and scrub some of this, but I don't think I'm going to get that clean. This is going to leak out the bottom, but it's fine. I just want to give it a little bit of a scrub using IPA. Neutralise that milk. Alright, I think that's good enough for me. So, the isopropyl alcohol, that will evaporate itself. And it's non-conductive as well, by the way. Bit of IPA on there. And voila. She's done. Just make sure it still turns on. And let's make sure my sync button works. It does. Beautiful. And we've got a display, fantastic. Let's shut it down. Fantastic. So yeah, this apparently didn't turn on when I had it off the customer. Uh, sorry, not customer, uh, the seller. Uh, so apparently it didn't turn on, but obviously it worked fine. The only issue was that front panel, really. And the X clamp, which I only replaced because couldn't be bothered to clean it. And I have one right, right next to me. So, yeah, overall, nice, easy job. Um, still don't like milk. No, 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 no. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. I'll always do my best to answer that, and I do enjoy reading what people say as well. If you do want to organise a repair, there'll be a link in the video description. Consolefix.co.uk will take you straight to my website where you can book it in or get in touch if you've got a question about your repair as well. Don't forget to join the Discord. We've got well over a thousand members now on Discord. It's completely free and you can get help and advice or just chat along in the community with myself and others uh, who are mainly technicians as well. So make sure you join the Discord. There'll be a link in the video description to that as well. If you do want to support me, then you can do so by heading over to Twitch and linking your Amazon Prime account to Twitch and subscribing to me on Twitch absolutely free, which gives me around about 250 every month. It massively helps me out, but it doesn't cost you a penny to do if you've got Amazon Prime. And also there's a join button below the video if you want to become a channel member and there's a Patreon link in the video description as well. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye for now.